But let's add a little more detail. Just as a little knowledge of what to look for can turn blurry water into a brown trout, knowing a few of the common forms of silence and violence helps you see safety problems when they first start to happen. That way, you can step out, restore safety, and return to dialogue before the damage is too great. Silence. Silence consists of any act to purposefully withhold information from the pool of meaning. It's almost always done as a means of avoiding potential problems, and it always restricts the flow of meaning. Methods range from <coughs> playing verbal games to avoiding a person entirely. The three most common forms of silence are masking, avoiding, and withdrawing. Masking consists of understating or selectively showing our true opinions. Sarcasm, sugarcoating, and couching are some of the more popular forms. Avoiding involves steering completely away from sensitive subjects. We talk, but without addressing the real issues. Withdrawing means staying out of a conversation altogether. We either exit the conversation or exit the people or ideas so we can dismiss them under a general stereotype or category. Attacking speaks for itself. You've moved from winning the argument to making the person suffer. Tactics include belittling and threatening. Let's say you've been watching for both content and conditions. You're paying special attention to when a conversation turns crucial. To catch this important moment, you're looking for signs that safety is at risk. As safety is violated, you even know to watch for various forms of silence and violence. So, are you now fully armed? Have you seen all there is to see? Actually, no. Perhaps the most difficult element to watch closely, as you're madly dual processing, is your own behavior. <laughs> Frankly, most people have trouble pulling themselves away from the tractor beam of the argument at hand. Then you've got the problem other people present as they employ all kinds of tactics. You've got to watch them like a hawk. It's little wonder that paying close attention to your own behavior tends to take a back seat. Besides, it's not like you can actually step out of your body and observe yourself. You're on the wrong side of your eyeballs. Low self monitors. The truth is, we all have trouble monitoring our own behavior at times. We usually lose any semblance of social sensitivity when we become so consumed with ideas and causes that we lose track of what we're doing. We try to bully our way through. We speak when we shouldn't. We do things that don't work, all in the name of a cause. We eventually become so unaware that we become a bit like this fellow of Jack Handy's invention. People were always talking about how mean this guy was who lived on our block. But I decided to go see for myself. I went to his door, but he said he wasn't the mean guy. The mean guy lived in that house over there. No, you stupid idiot, I said. That's my house. Unfortunately, when you fail to monitor your own behavior, you can look pretty silly. For example, you're talking to your spouse about the fact that he or she left you sitting at the auto repair shop for over an hour. After pointing out that it was a simple misunderstanding, your spouse exclaims, You don't have to get angry. Then you utter those famous words, I'm not angry. Of course, you're spraying spit as you shout out your denial, and the vein on your forehead has swelled to the size of a teenage python. You quite naturally don't see the inconsistency in your response. You're in the middle of the whole thing, and you don't appreciate it one bit when your spouse laughs at you. 
You also play Chite. this denial game when you ingenuously answer the question, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You whimper, then you shut. Shook a bath. Okay, making note of where I left off. Winter vastly approaches. <clears throat>
Hi, Purple. Purple. Purple, Purple. Hi, Purple, Purple. Hi, Purple, Purple. <laughs> Ears swept back. <laughs> Meditate. Me Meditate. Now think about your dad. <laughs> Have you ever seen Tim and Eric? Oh my God, Tim and Eric's so weird. It's a, it's really funny. It's a, I don't know, 